Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I know today is not Tuesday, but I have this bomb.com chicken taco recipe for you guys. It's so yummy, so saucy. I cannot wait to show you guys how it's done. But before I begin, if you think you're going to enjoy this recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe while you're there and let's get started. All right, now let's begin. I am starting with three chicken breasts. Okay, first thing I do is just slice it right in the middle and then we're going to cut them into small cubes, all right? And don't forget the ingredients for this recipe will be listed down below, so check that out. Next, we are going to season our chicken. To season, I am going to add a little bit of oil like usual, y'all know the deal. After that, I am going to season with all these goodness right here. I'm using cumin, oregano, pepper, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder. Okay, all of that good seasoning. Just add that on there. Also, I'll be adding some chipotle and adobo sauce in there as well with a little bit of lime juice. You gotta have that, that hint of, you know, sourness in there to just balance everything. Now you're going to get to work and give this chicken a nice little massage, okay? Just work all of that seasoning in just so we can have a nice, well-marinated chicken. Now it's time to cook my chicken. I am going to be adding about two to three tablespoons, maybe more, maybe less. It depends on how you like your chicken. Now you're going to add your chicken right in there. You are going to cook this for about, I'll say up to seven to 10 minutes. You don't really need to cook this chicken for too long because the chicken cut into cubes, you don't need a long time to cook it. And if you overcook this chicken breast, it will be dry because we're dealing with chicken breast. And that's the trick. If you want a nice juicy chicken breast, just don't overcook it, okay? So you're going to stir it as it cooks just to flip the chicken over so the chicken can be cooked evenly. Once you are done, this is what we're working with. Okay, okay, I see you. It's looking good, it's looking good. Now we're moving on. I am going to chop a little bit of red onion because those type of onions are nice and sweet. And also we have some cilantro. Okay, we have some cilantro in there as well. We're going to chop up. All right, now moving on to our tortilla. I am going to be adding a little bit of oil to my nonstick okay non-stick skillet and then you're going to place your tortilla on there i am using flour tortilla however you can use corn tortillas if you like those i'm going to take a handful of mozzarella cheese place it on top of my tortilla next i am going to place the chicken don't add too much chicken because once you fold this you want it to be nice and flat so don't overfill it with chicken next i'm going to add the red onion as well as the cilantro, then you are going to fold it, okay? Just like so. Now I'm cooking this on medium high heat because I want a nice color on the 
tacos. So don't or don't burn it. Just make sure it's on medium high heat and cooking nicely. And also it's going to be nice and crispy as well when you're eating it. Look at that color. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now I'm going to be making another one. It's basically the same step. I'm gonna let you guys watch this because it's pretty self-explanatory. And this is how quick it is to make some delicious chicken tacos at home. How beautiful is that? Basically, I used the sauce from the chicken. There was some remaining, some of the juice from the chicken. I just basically spread it on top of my tacos. And if you wanna take it up a notch, you can make some spicy mayo to eat with that. But trust me, you don't really need it. And basically, that's the recipe. Ooh, amazing. I hope you all enjoyed today's recipe. Do not forget to give it a thumbs up for me because this recipe definitely deserves a thumbs up. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also leave a comment if you are going to try this out because it's super easy. I mean, you can make this any time of the day. You don't have to wait till Tuesday to make this. Also guys, I want to say thank you for rocking with your girl because you guys have been showing love and i am truly blessed to, to have you guys as part of the family thank you for watching i will see you all on the next recipe bye